around 100 years ago, Erwin Schrödinger revolutionized quantum mechanics with his Nobel Prize winning equation. This equation is like the ultimate energy conservation tool in the quantum world. The fork-like symbol you see here is the wave function, a tool to find the probability of an electron being at a specific location in space. To understand this equation better, imagine this. You are at a party. The Schrödinger's equation is like the guest list. Each guest has a unique ID, like the name, the phone number, the address. These are also like the quantum numbers that are used to describe the electron state. Now here's the twist. Each guest has a favorite hat, either tilted towards the left or to the right. These are like the electron spins, which have the value plus half or minus half. Now the Schrodinger's equation tells you who your guests are and where they might be. But it fails to explain these hat preferences, the electron spin. And just like the real party, knowing these hat preferences is crucial because it affects how guests interact and the overall party vibes. Now another limitation for the Schrodinger's equation is that it does not consider Einstein's theory of relativity, making it outdated for high-speed particles or massless particles like photons. Then came the Klein gordon equation. It was like the Schrodinger's equation, but fused with the concept of relativity. Yeah, it still ignored spin. Now enter the most powerful boss. The Dirac equation combines everything. It includes spin as well as relativity. The Dirac equation is like the square root of the Klein gordon equation. So, as the square root of 1 by 4 is plus minus half, the Dirac equation elegantly introduces the concept of spin. 